Estonia. We'll start our tour from our capital, Tallinn. We are on top of the former Skåne Bastion, one of the best preserved Baroque earthen fortifications in Tallinn. The Straw Theatre was an architectural installation and black box theatre commissioned by the No 99 Theatre as part of the programme celebrating Tallinn as the European cultural capital in 2011. It was a 430 square metre temporary building operating for half a year built for a specific purpose, programme and location. As a public building receiving intense media attention, its main role in terms of sustainability thus was to acknowledge the possibilities of building with straw and promote the use of renewable materials in general. The life cycle of straw ended and it went back to nature, but the wooden frame started a new life. To find out how, we'll lift off from Tallinn and move 30 kilometers south to the Lila Oru Center. Lille Oru was founded in 1993 by Ingvar Vilido. Initially a place dedicated to yoga instruction, over the years it has evolved into a public educational and visiting center, visited by thousands of people every year. It is this school building that gave a new home to the wooden frame of the straw theater. For insulation, 50 centimeter thick reed bales are laid flat between the wooden frame. This 1,000 square meter building is heated and cooled by a geothermal pump and heat recovery ventilation. The roof is covered with solar panels. The building's outer and inner walls contain a total of 30 to 40 tons of clay and lime plaster. The fine finishing layer of clay plasters offers a wide array of natural and pastel hues. A lot of organic ingredients grown by the local community are used in the food offered by the cafeteria. The wall behind the sinks is finished with Venetian plaster. A school of practical consciousness operates in the schoolhouse, offering adult educational programs on the art of conscious change and Kriya Yoga. In addition, the 6th grade Lila Oru Primary School operates here. The primary school also uses the modular classroom next to the main building. The big hall is used for lectures, courses, yoga ceremonies, hatha yoga classes and various seminars and smaller conferences. During the construction, lasting from 2013 to 2018, 1,100 volunteers put in about 40,000 hours of work. In the heart of Lila Oru lies a park inspired by the ancient flower of life and its various sacred places represent the universal wisdom and harmony as the basis of all creation. Various medical herbs grow on the petals of the flower of life and they are used in locally made tea blends. Time to say goodbye to Lila Oru and we'll move on 60 kilometers to the south to Hobukoli Park in central Estonia. Hobukoli Park is a truly inspirational place, worthy of visiting by everyone who appreciates ecological building methods and lifestyle principles. Amazing nature, countless numbers of buildings and facilities made of natural materials, and of course the unbelievably energetic and always kind host family. They started with Hobukoli Park in 2007, with the goal of creating an environment where hippotherapy along with natural building practices help people find their external and inner balance. This straw building classroom is constructed from the wooden frame of an about 100 year old shed from the nearby town of Turi. The exposed sections of traditional straw building present an opportunity to observe different straw building techniques. Each year, straw bale courses take place in this classroom, mainly during winter time. But that is just a small part of the classroom. It is possible to build a whole straw bale house here if needed. Throughout the course, participants press straw bales, practice a variety of techniques, build straw modules, and prepare reciprocal roofs, a favorite of the host. One of the buildings erected during these courses is called the Hive, a 60 square meter straw bale house assembled from four honeycomb-shaped modules. 
It is designed specifically to be a therapy building. The 40 centimeter thick walls are made of modules produced in the classroom. The hive is heated by a rocket stove and a cast iron fireplace. The walls are covered with clay and lime plasters as part of hands-on teaching in the courses. The floor is insulated with foam glass and will be covered with an earthen floor. The roof will be covered with turf and in the center of the roof, low thermal connectivity plastic domes are used. This is the only private area within Hobokoli Park where the owner's family resides. This 200 square meter, two story house has been built of big bales. To be exact, 28 bales, each 2.5 meters long, 1.2 meters high, and 90 centimeters thick. Combined with plaster layers, the walls are one meter thick. Window and door frames are made of reused timber, and the windows are also reused. Its shape is oval, inspired by two circles and the golden ratio. The roof is insulated with cellulose. Construction took over a year and is still occasionally supplemented. The house is waiting for its outer finish to be completed with local clay and straw mixture. It has an open fireplace, a rocket stove, a wood-fired stove, and air water heat pump. The total cost is unknown and value priceless. This is the seminar building, which hosts theoretical classes. This 100 square meter building made of approximately 1,000 small bales, reed bales in the wall and straw bales in the ceiling. It was built in two stages. In the 65 square meter section, initially intended as a guest house back in 2008, the reed bales were laid flat, creating a 65 centimeter thick wall. Construction took four months. In 2009, the house was extended by another 35 square meters. In this new section, the reed bales were laid on edge, creating a wall thickness of 40 centimeters. The extension was completed in six months. The entire building used more than 25 tons of clay plaster. The house has one mass heater and one rocket stove. The total cost, including the road and utility connection, comes to around 51,000 euros. There are many other natural material buildings within Hobokoli Park, but it is time for us to move on. This time we rise up above a labyrinth of topography and traditional seed pattern, extending 42 meters in diameter and move 200 kilometers further away to southern Estonia. The Hundialika Retreat and Training Center is a self-development and holistic worldview center located in Suurametsa village starting in 2013. It is a place for being, inward reflection, contemplation, and connecting with nature. Until last year, the center lacked a building to comfortably stop by or have events in the wintertime. Inspired by the plentiful traditional red earth buildings in southern Estonia, the hosts journeyed in material choices from clay to straw, and the new building was made of Ekokokon straw panels. The 166 square meter, two-story building is heated by a geothermal pump and heat recovery ventilation. The building has a plank roof and the facade is painted lime plaster and cladding. At the request of the hostess, the Southern Estonian red clay shades can be seen in multiple elements. For one, she wanted the main entrance walls to look clay red yet appear a hundred years old. For this, clay was washed out from the old clay plaster from this nearby ramshackle log house. Some brightening pigments added to create an egg oil tempera paint and the painted surface was later aged with a sponge. The kitchen, dining room, and staircase walls are finished with a combination of white hues and textures. White fine finished clay plaster with added decorative straw. A more rustic, larger, grain based coat of lime plaster. In addition to the gas stove, there is a wooden stove in the kitchen with a bench and heat wall. 
Its curvy profile is built of compressed earth blocks and finished with white fine finish lime plaster and lace patterned Venetian plaster. This room's lime plastered walls are covered with slightly yellowish clay paint. The second floor houses bedrooms that are intended for course lecturers. This bedroom's lime plastered walls have a finish of cassine glaze paint. But over here, the walls are covered with a light green fine finish clay plaster. Fine finish clay plaster has also been used here. In the second floor bathroom, we see the bathtub surrounded by white tadelact. The colors in the toilet have been inspired by Morocco, more specifically the Majorel Garden in Marrakesh. Its lime plastered walls are covered with egg oil tempera. The first floor bathroom has a bit larger than usual truth window. You can see a straw panel in its entirety behind the glass. The walls are covered again with tadelact of familiar color. It is time to move on to the last stop on our tour, Most Emener, situated in southeastern Estonia. This is the heart of Estonian natural building, the competent center for ecological building, ACMA Ehitus. This organization brings together various enterprises that are active in the field of natural building, is part of the Earth Build Europe network, and a member of the European Straw Building Association. ACMA Ehitus offers a broad range of educational programs, works in collaboration with schools and universities, initiates scientific research, and launches and coordinates local and international projects. This 150-year-old heritage-protected stable and carriage house was renovated with funding from the European Union and local administration, and help from the members of Eesti Maihitus. It now houses a training, product development, and competence center for ecological construction. The funding application, preliminary research, procurement process, design, construction, and reporting took five years and cost slightly north of a million euros, including partial furnishing and inventory. Not all rooms have been finished yet and they will never be completely finished, as we will always be refinishing the walls during the courses. At the start of this process, the building was in bad structural shape, walls badly affected by moisture and salts. The renovation approach leaned on three principles, to fully respect all conditions set by the National Heritage Protection Board, to use as many natural building materials as possible, and to achieve as energy efficient a result as possible. The existing 80 centimeter thick walls made of field stone and burnt clay bricks were repaired. Wooden structures were either replaced or renovated, with additional rafters added. The Soviet-era asbestos roof was once again replaced with clay tiles. The roof, ceilings and partition walls on the second floor were insulated with cellulose mixed with clay powder. The facade lime plaster was sandblasted and restored to its historic details. All windows and doors were constructed according to originals. The lime plaster covering interior walls was saturated with salts. It was removed and the walls covered with clay plaster compresses to withdraw the salts. Internal insulation up to one meter above floor level consists of a mixture of expanded clay and lime putty, higher up a mix of hemp shivs and lime putty, partially also other capillary active insulation materials. 
Scientific studies with universities on various insulation alternatives and other subject matters are ongoing. The internal walls on the first floor were made of compressed earth blocks, rammed earth and straw panels. On the second floor, they were built using light wooden frame constructions. Clay and lime plastering was done by members of Eesti Maehitus and partially during courses or communal work. This room is meant for natural building and finishing courses. In addition, conducting early phase product development and, if necessary, continuing in cooperation with university laboratories. The building now houses the UKU Pure Earth Product Showroom, company headquarters and other member companies' offices. This room is waiting for its final finishing and installations. Here, guests can browse various building and finishing product samples, visit occasional thematic exhibits, and association members can display their products and services. The seminar room on the second floor is used for lectures, meetings, and small gatherings. It is finished with clay and lime plasters. There are also offices on the second floor, the walls of which are finished with various clay and lime fine finish plasters. The building is heated by a geothermal pump and heat recovery ventilation. The heated space has a footprint of 800 square meters and monthly average electricity cost comes to 200 euros. We welcome you to visit us, join our training course and information subscriber list and follow us on social media. We thank you for coming on this tour with us. We hope you enjoy this online event. And if not before, we look forward to getting together again at the next European Straw Building Gathering.